Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about something different. Uh, there is a, a strategy out there called short squeeze strategy. So, as you know, the stock market is very crazy place. And you can make money no matter what happens. So, what that means is that uh, due to the trading and investing, uh, investing strategies out there, uh, you can go short, you know, on some strategy allow you to go short. And what that means on going short? So many of you may look at the uh, stocks on your broker. This is the eToro website anyway I'm looking at as I am a popular investor here. Uh, you look at the stock price, then you see a sell and buy button. Uh, you think, how I don't have this stock to sell? So, how that works? Uh, some people explain that as you know, easy, uh, like uh, over the counter trading, so you just uh, looking at the rates, and that's important. But to understand uh, how it works, you should know that when you sell a stock, actually you borrow that stock from your broker. So, for example, if uh, let me look at some of the stocks. So this one, at the moment, you can see what stock is that. That's uh, Ava, which is the anti-virus and you know, this computer uh, technology stock, anyway. And that's not any, any uh, important, anyway. So you can see on this stock, at this stage, 3% of people uh, who are investing in this stock are shorting. So what does that mean? How you can short something you don't have? you actually borrowing that stock from the broker and then when the price goes down you decide to close uh, that position so imagine you borrowed then you sell uh, you sold it and when you wanna close it actually you buy it back from the broker so the price comes down for example and then you decide, okay, I want to close this trade. So you're closing at the lower price. It means that you have to buy back that price, that stock, and give it back to the broker. Just imagine like that to make it simple. So you borrow at a higher price, then it goes down. You see closing, so you buy at the cheaper price and give it back to the broker. And the money difference there is the money you made from shorting that specific stock. So that is how uh, shorting works, and you know this is the best I can explain anyway. Um, so you can literally make money from the stock price going down in that. Uh, but there is an um, a strategy called short squeeze. What does that mean? Just uh, opening the chart for one of these to have a look. Okay. Let me expand this. Okay. We are on one hour. <clears throat> the short squeeze happens when uh, here, for example, you see. That the price is going down and you decide okay I'm gonna uh, short this stock you think it's gonna go down and it doesn't matter you know uh, for example you heard the news or if you're trading a Tesla for example uh, Elon Musk said oh the price value is uh, this stock uh, is priced or, or is overpriced so you think okay it's a good time to short <clears throat> then you short it here 
But um, the price starts going up. So, just, uh, sorry, I'm just going to add the uh, north to. So, you decide to. Okay. Then the price goes up. So what happens when you see the price goes up? When the price goes up, many people who trading based on the indicators or whatever, they say, okay, price is going up. They buy some more. Uh, some some of that stuff. So they, they try to buy. So more people, more people buy because uh, the price goes up. Okay. Then you are still shorting and you have your uh, short position, but the price keeps going up. Going up, keeps going on, and more and more people come and buy. Some of these people that had short here, they scared. They say, "Oh, okay, I'm gonna lose lots of money." So they start to uh, close their position. And what happened? They just go back to how I explained how the shorting works. So when you close the short position, actually you buying that position back. To give it back to the broker. So actually, you turn into a buyer. So some of the uh, short people here, they turn to the buyers. So when they turn to the buyer, there's more demand and it pushes the price up again. So then uh, some short will close. And when that happens, the price goes higher and higher, and then you know some more of the short uh, people. They say, "Oh, okay, they 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 really scared now," and they also start to sell, and the price keeps going up and up, and then there is just a minority of people who are shorting. So this uh, phenomenon is the short squeeze because. Those people who are shorting are squeezing and squeezing. And uh, that's the reason, you know, even after uh, bad news or what, uh, or whatever, you know, news, then, you know, you see the price goes up and up and up and up. So that's the uh, best explanation I could give you for the uh, short squeeze. Uh, yeah, I hope uh, you learned something today. And be careful when you're shorting. If you want to short, just go and make a uh, what do you call it, a basket of the stocks. You may go to some websites like Nasdaq, and you know they they have some information of the amount amount of uh, shorts. Or if you just wanna. Uh, use your broker, you can use uh, the price sentiment as a guide to see on which stock more people shorting, so that would be a guide, just a guide, uh, I'm not saying if more people selling you going to also sell, but that could be a guide to just add these stock maybe to your uh, short squeeze strategy shortly. Uh, okay, that was all about today. I uh, hope you learned something new today. Have a nice day. See you later.